What's up guys? So today we're actually uh, building Blair some shelves with using <laughs> the tiniest tape measure in the world. Why? Where did you get pencil. that? Well, okay, and we also have some wood right over here. So this is a, uh, I was actually going to cut this into portions and carve into it, but I'm going to actually change the purpose of this and then it's going to now be a shelf for Blair. So I'm going to get started with that. The shelf is going to be right over there. Can I have two? What do you mean two? <laughs> one like right here and one in there. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, that's what I was gonna do. But I also have to make sure it fits. I honestly may have to rethink this a little bit. I mean I can get you something at least temporarily. One issue is nah, I'll make it work. We got this. So right now I'm actually uh measuring the interior. Uh so if you see this actually comes uh, the back side of this comes up not straight up, but more so like at an angle back. I'm trying to show it with the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> I think they can see so it. yeah, you can basically see it. Pretty much the width here is gonna be less than the width here, or so the length, I guess it would be. But the width is gonna be the same. The height is gonna be the same. But I'm gonna give you two shelves, one uh, somewhere in this area, another one over in this area, something like that. I'll leave a little bit of space over here uh, for you to put things that are taller up on the side. You can put those in, and those are more for storage, kind of. And then you can put the shelves directly back into it and then put things on the shelves. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I'll try to build something. So maybe the first one, like, right here. It's about right there, maybe? I'm really going to be ballparking some of this. I know that fits in there. All right, so we have our... Uh, well, this really didn't do too much. <laughs> I was using this as a straight edge, um, but it's a straight edge that kind of moves, so I would suggest maybe getting another piece of wood or like a blare to hold measuring tape while you draw next to it. So what I did is actually, uh, I got the pencil, uh, I drew basically the outline of what the shelf is gonna be, and so you can kind of see that there. And then what we also have, I'm trying to save wood, so there's actually two panels right here. And so I drew a line straight down the middle right here at uh, about 21 inches, uh, which is the height of the top shelf, which is all you really need. You don't need to build a shelf or you know, have the legs go all the way up to the, I guess, the ceiling of that closet area. Uh, so all we really need is basically just two of these little slats, and then uh, we need four of these. So all I'm going to do is cut off this one right here. I'm going to move it over here, draw it like an outline of the exact replica of it, then cut that one out, and then do the same thing for these. Cut these two out, move that over, and actually just use one of these pieces right down here uh, to do the remaining two legs. And then we should have four legs and two shelves. And so from there, I can either nail it or screw it together and put it right in there. And so we should be good right after that. Let's go do some cutting, I guess. How are you gonna cut it? We have a saw outside. No, I was thinking of Michael Scott's table that he built. He built a table? In their house. Remember, the legs are oh. like four <laughs> feet long and the table's tiny? That's... yes. <laughs> yes, that is what I feel like. Dang. Not, it's beautiful! Not bad for using the worst wood, only nails, eyeballing everything, and then the hardest part, which I'm not even too sure if it's going to work, and an axe for a hammer. Yeah, an axe for a hammer. We'll see if it actually fits into <laughs> the, the area that it's supposed to go into without me having to take the door off. It's like your first project in home ec class. Yeah, I know. Well, I got to build a shelf. <laughs> and one thing I didn't account for is the door not being able to swing all the oh, way open. Oh no. And so there's a chance I may have to take hinges off and everything. Oh no. There's a good chance. Yeah. It's either, oh, can I just slip this off? That'd be nice. <gasps> oh. And then the other 
problem it's was... It's too wide. That's what, that's what I'm saying, I eyeballing. I, I mentioned it to you. Well, I, I kind of accounted for it, but I was off by a couple millimeters. <laughs> no. If I can actually slide it in now. Excellent. <laughs> what if that was it? <laughs> You're like, here you go, Blair. <laughs> All right. All ready. Here it is. Ta da! <laughs> yeah. And you can slide it over to either side, and there's space right here. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> You're not proud of it? It's not my best work. I built the <laughs> entire Murphy bed out of just two pieces of plywood. Yeah. Okay, I know it might still look like a mess. It's a much more organized mess than it was before. And I'm pretty psyched about it. Look at that. Yes. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. That's um, all. Hopefully you all enjoyed the footage of the river as well as that shelf making. A very high quality professional yeah. shelf making. You do better. <laughs> <laughs> any of you guys have done any renovations or you know built stuff in your RV um, and have videos on it? We'd love to see them. So make sure and comment below. Yeah, it actually always... helps everyone else too because then yeah, you know everybody else that wants to try to figure out things to do, I guess go look in the the comments. Yeah, don't look, <laughs> don't look to us. Yeah, yeah. That's that's it. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. We always ask hit that thumbs up if you did. Um, and then this weekend, where what are we doing? So this weekend, we are actually going to Dripping Springs. So uh, within Dripping, there's a few things I want to do. Um, obviously, there's things that we probably don't know that are even there. And that's the whole reason for this Texas series. And so yeah. uh, we're going to get out of our comfort zone a little bit. We'll still go to the same old places just so we can show you all a bit more. Um, but yeah, Dripping Springs. You can go to Dripping Springs. We are not taking the RV because it's what, like... It's like less 30, than an hour from here. Yeah, 30, 40 miles. Um, so we're going to go up on Saturday and see what we can get into and then possibly go on Sunday too. So if yep. any of you guys are in Dripping, holla at us. Oh. That's that's it. That's the cue. Yep, Let's that's, go. That's the meeting I have to get to. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, have fun out there. Bye. Did you lock the car? <laughs> Asking if Matt locked the truck. So many turtles. 20 million turtles. Oh, that way. Not that way. That way's dead. What? <laughs> oh, that's fancy. Now don't watch this video. <laughs> don't even watch it.